More. Mr Speaker, let's just commit the fact that National is completely committed to interest-free student loans. One of the interesting things here, I want to, as I normally do, share your story about my student loan and one of the reasons why this was an important uh, aspect and this bill will help. Uh, like most members across the other house, you have a student loan, you try and repay it back, you never really know the balance for a period of time. And when you try and pay it back, you get balances sent to you every monthly saying you might be in or out and whatever the case may be. For me, I spent three months trying to repay a dollar and every, every month I was out by three or four cents. And it took six months to finally get a balance that said I was two cents in credit. Mr Speaker, this bill will fix that. This bill will be in a situation where you'll be able to go online and work out what your balance is at any one point in time. And I think, Mr Speaker, that's a good step in the right direction. There are some really interesting things in this bill that I think the opposition seem to be uh, scaremongering on, which seems to be their way recently. And I would particularly talk about the area they talk about working as a, as a, as a student who's a full-time student working in throughout the holidays. And the issue that that person earning $300-odd a week might have their student loan deducted. Well, actually, in clauses 48 and 54 of the bill, you can actually get an exemption, Mr Speaker, if you believe you're going to earn throughout those holidays under $19,000-odd a year, you can apply for an exemption, so that would not apply, which goes completely ruins the argument that uh, has been put forward by the Labor Party. Mr Speaker, one of the other interesting aspects of this bill, and I'm a big fan of, of, of this information disclosure, one of the other things here is that this bill exempts students from the Triple CFA Act, and that's quite an important aspect and requirement for this bill to work, because the Triple CFA Act requires a whole lot of consents around electronic communication and other other niceties, which are there for good reasons, but this bill will need to be uh, has to make student loans exempt from that for make, to make the information disclosure online that people expect these days to be able to work. And I think that's actually a sensible thing. Uh, some people might believe that that's actually uh, taking away a few people's rights, but it's actually a good step to make, give that information to students who do expect the ability in this modern day and age to not rely on paper, bits of paper flying back and forth month by month, but knowing that balance second month by month instead of knowing it online day by day. And, Mr Speaker, that will actually allow those students to be a better understanding of what they own, what they owe, how to pay it back, and get out of debt a little bit faster, and to get back to saving more money for the productive part of society, and that's what we want to see, and get that loan balance to be able to come down a bit, both personally and as a group. And, Mr Speaker, that's what we want. We want a more accountable, high-performing tertiary sector and a lower loan balance for these, these people to get back into the workforce and pay off their loans as soon as possible. And that's got to be a good thing. Thanks very much.